Okay, let's continue on and build our leg. <laughs> let's go here. Let's select our vent box. And let's select that polygon and let's align our work plane to that polygon. Now, let's go ahead and grab a cylinder. And let's draw out a cylinder. That like so. I don't want to make it too big. I want to make sure, sure two will fit side by side. And I'll take that back in a little bit. Then I'll pull this out like this. Okay. It's looking a little better. Actually. Mm, before I can judge too much, I want to <clears throat> put the other one in here. So let's copy and paste it. And we'll just move it right over. Like so. We want a little gap in between them. How close is this one to the edge? Pretty close. How close is this one? It could be stood to be moved over a little bit. Okay. I think that's fairly even there. Actually, <clears throat> they both could come over a little bit more. I'm sorry to be picky. It's just how I am. Okay. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Let's move this one over just a tad bit. Now that's looking a lot better. Now I can move this one over and open the gap between them. So okay that's looking pretty close <clears throat> now we have two side by side now we need to make our little joints so let's reset our work plane well, actually you know what let's leave our work plane like that and let us there's several ways we could go about doing this and I'm trying to figure out a good way to do this <clears throat> let's go ahead and get a new mesh okay I'm going to select this polygon. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to this mesh. I'm going to paste it. Now i got this little cylinder here. I can hit my R key. And I can scale that up to be bigger. Okay. Now I can select this. We can run the thicken tool on it. Or however you want to do to thicken it up. Like so. And we'll make it about like that. Okay. Now let's go in here fire up our edge slice by hitting the C key and let's go in here and cut right down the middle and we'll cut here and we want to make sure we get in the middle I don't want to cut the wrong one which I don't think I have no I'm in good shape Okay, now we'll select half of our, let's reset our work plane first. Now let's select half of our model. I'll select these. This side, and I'll select this side. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit Command X. And that cuts that out. Actually, I think I have something selected that I shouldn't right there. And I might have cut it wrong. I'm not sure. Let's see. <clears throat> Actually, I did. So let me go in here and put another slice in there real quick. <clears throat> By hitting the C key and slicing the one next to it. Now I can go in here and remove this edge. Now I can select half of it. Cut that out and paste it right back in. 
that makes it two separate objects. Now I can select this object and bring it this side and bring it over like this. Okay. Now I can go to my edge mode. Select these edges. Select these edges. And we'll bridge them. Now you see what we got going on here. So let's grab this whole piece and slide it back so we can adjust the size. About right there looks good. Let's get in close here so we can see. That looks pretty good. Pretty lined up. So let's grab it and let's duplicate it by command and pasting it and bringing it up. And we'll have a couple of them right side by side like that. Then we'll do it again and we'll move this one right up to the tip. Like so. Now let's run our loop slices down these just so they'll hold their shape somewhat. Now we have our caps. And heck, we have a gun, don't we? We could use this as a gun. Okay, so there's our vents. There's our vent box. There's our leg. And it's going to start getting a little more complicated from here, but no worries. No frets. So we'll see you in the next video.